So, hello everyone on here. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying Civ 6, but you also might not be enjoying it, right? Like, I spent the first 2-3 hours today, you seem to be like, oh my god, you can't crash it. The game keeps crashing on PC, and honestly, I feel it's like a tradition now, right? Um, so, hope you guys subscribe to the like button, because I feel like I do this every time a new fighting game comes out. Uh, you know, I did a Guild Gear video. Internet doesn't work Guild Gear. Uh, I did an Orchestra doesn't work on Dragon Fighters. It's like, it's always something, I feel. Every fighting game on PC, it's always something. But anyway, this here, SF6 for me, has been the worst I've seen actually in years. Because it keeps crashing, right? Uh, and of course, I'm saying this this fix here works, okay? But since I implemented this fix, I haven't had a crash. I've been playing for the last four or five hours without a crash. I'm playing JP, so again, subscribe because I'm probably going to make some JP videos, right? So far, I'm winning almost every game, so. I am very good with control, you know, range characters, right? I play extra low to the Guild Gear so right. So I'm gonna make probably at least one JP guy video. But anyway, let's talk about this crash. So first of all, I was this thing. This I am I have AMD here, right? Uh, GPU AMD. And this fix probably actually makes it better for you in other games as well, right? So if you have crashes on other games or whatever, uh, this thing also might fix it as well, right? I'm showing you my AMD here, but you can see the game has some issues as always, right? But let me just first say this thing here. Actually, for me, the game runs perfectly fine even without this fix. Until I win a game, right? Or sometimes when the game starts. Once or twice, it has also crashed today during a fight. But I also point out that if you don't have the exact same issues me, right? My issue is basically that every time a match ends, right? Uh, usually I get in court, but whoever wins, it crashes. But that is the way I get a crash, and the whole PC goes down, right? So I tried to figure out what's happening. And what I can see, I think it is that the GPU doesn't get enough power or overheats. Maybe it's both. Uh, but anyways, I never had a single crash, you know, inside the actual menus. Never had a single crash when I'm in here or whatever, right? Or I can start the game, I, I can go to training mode and so on. It's always when I start an actual match, right, in a single player, or when the game ends. But anyway. Let me explain the fix thing, guys. But over here, I'm talking about it. So first of all, go to performance on your AMD, put tuning, and then you go down here to global tuning. You can, of course, control this specifically only for this game or the games, right? And again, this also applies to Nvidia. Right? You can do the same kind of tuning to a Nvidia uh, graphic card. Now, currently, I have on this PC here the stream with I'm using OMD, but whatever, right? All my other PCs are Nvidia. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So what you wanna do? You can actually also undervolt your GPU, that also might fix it. But my recommendation is you go to manual tuning, which you see in the right here, right? And you pay custom. Now, for whatever reason, it says fan off. When you have manual tuning, I don't know why. That doesn't matter. Okay. So this is kind of how it looks for you default, right? If I disable it now, this is kind of what you get when you get in there, right? And you can also turn this off. Uh, this is kind of the default, right? And then you press up here, you see this thing here. Here you can now then control how much fan power you get at. And here you can further control the fans here. So you need to get into this kind of details. But basically, what you do in this game, the most important part is power tuning. The, the things in the bottom here. This is what I've seen. When I tried to fix my fan, that helped a lot. It got, I, I got fewer crashes, it's like one per hour. But the biggest issue was the power tuning. But let me first start with fanning then. So, what you want to do with your fan, so for example, a bit here, what you do with your fan is you want to increase this thing here, right? To roughly like this, like here. So you can see like, I'm increasing the meter here. So you want to have 60, roughly like this, maybe a little more higher. This is roughly the spec you want to have on your fan. If you run it like this, the game is going to crash way less. You can also increase your general fan power here. But honestly, I'll say it here because I've been trying to have this thing. This works smoothly, right? For a few hours. But honestly, you can hear my fan gonna start now, but honestly, if you do this thing, this is gonna work way better. So you can hear now, you're gonna hear my fan sort of going now. I have played for the last five hours with like maximum fan, and also talk about power soon here, but maximum fan and power, and I have zero crashes, right? But like I said, you can definitely go a little bit like this, right? Uh, again here, if I run 50 here, should be where you have the cutoff. Like roughly here with 60 the heat here, right? This is kind of where you want to have the cutoff. Uh, if you do like this, this should work fine. But again, this is kind of lazy man fix, right? When I play the game, okay, it's freaking full out. Anyway, 
more importantly though, know, is that you need to have power tuning. So when I checked out the GPU values, right, and I work with engineering, so I'm somewhat good at this. What I see is that I basically get a lag spike every time a match starts or ends, right? There's some kind of lag spike there. Hopefully, of course, Capcom might, you know, get a patch and fine to this thing, right? But that's why things keep crashing because basically the power spikes for like two to seconds, right? Because otherwise the game runs fun for me, right? The game just runs perfectly fine for me. Uh, but as I said, when a match ends, it crashes, right? Because that's probably a power spike. So what happens is that the, the GPU, I'm guessing it, of course, but I'm pretty sure on it, is the GPU has too little power just at that moment. That is why this, this here general solution of going down like here, uh, you know, this kind of thing will work fine because you don't have to have max all the time. This is just like a more screen. But anyway, that's why you need to increase the power, right? So you can do it in different ways, but I maximized, right? Because I'm lazy, whatever, on this game. I have maximized the power tuning. So basically you got more power, right? To your GPU, so you can handle that spike. And after I have this thing, and I have maximized this thing here, I haven't had a single crash in the game. So I played for the last five hours of that night. Let us see the crash. So now we're perfectly fine. Now I can play the game, go into the game, right? It doesn't crash anymore at all. So this is, a, this is basically the solution. Uh, but again, I think that the, the more you know accurate solution is to do a little bit of testing what you need here, right? I recommend it sitting kind of like this. Here is kind of the issue, right? We have 62, so you kind of want to have it high and allow it to go higher. You also can do it easier if I do this thing here. You can see this thing here. If you get into your GPU, it probably says 80. It might say even lower. Uh, so you can just maximize your fan speed to 100% too, and maximize your power, and that usually works as well. But also important to you know allow your fan to go higher than right. Uh, and again, I don't know why it says fan off. You can read about it, but like whatever. So the fan, you can always hear the fan now, right? Uh, but yeah, increase this thing, enable this thing, go up here, and then of course what I do, but I don't play in the game, right? You can say this. this unfortunately, it's for this currently, right? But like I said, I think there's like a lag spike. So of course, when I don't play, when I don't play the game, I use you know you can use to save this thing, right? When you don't play the game, you can just go in here, you know, you know what I mean, and just go and save it, right? And the fan should soon <laughs> stop sounding. Oh yeah, I got this thing here too, well. right? I'll do this thing here, like this. This is kind of normal. Uh, shouldn't be allowed to go max, so like there. There we go. Now you hear the fangs off. That's kind of the roughly the normal setting, right? So you, of course, you should turn it back down, right, after you finish playing the game, right? But also, I want to put out, uh, I haven't tested it in other games, but what I've read about this issue on your PC, this also should probably make your other games run better as well, if you have a similar crash issue. So I have seen my computer crash on one other game, similarly to what I have in C-Factor, but way less frequent, right? You know, once per week or whatever, right? Once per month, something like that. And that's like whatever, I'm gonna sit there with maximum fans or whatever all the time, right? But this also hopefully fixes other issues as well on your PC if you have other cases. But yeah, Street Fighter, I'm pretty sure that there's some kind of massive energy spike used when a match ends or starts, so that's why it keeps crashing. So I really hope that Capcom can patch that out, right? It shouldn't be that hard to patch, uh, because to me it looks like a very clear uh, crash log issue. Because very, like, I, I, like 9 out of 10 crashes for me has been again then in that like start or finish right of, of the game so it seems to be very clear very very easy to reproduce right and anyway, i hope you like the video please subscribe slap button and i definitely make some jp or other general guide videos but currently i'm loving playing jp right just grabbing them and crushing them uh basically doesn't have a great day